So today I'm going to try and show you how easy it is to create a slideshow using the Photos app built into Windows 10. First of all, we have to find the Photos app. If you're lucky enough to have this icon on your taskbar, this is the Photos app. You just click on it to run. If it's not there, look in your Start menu. Here's the Photos app in the Start menu. If you've got it, click on it, it'll run. If it's in neither of those two places, scroll down this list in the Start menu to the P's, and there's the Photos app in the Start menu. Here's the Photos app running. Oh, you're not supposed to see that. Um, we're going to use the Video Editor to create a slideshow. So we click on Video Editor, and it says, do you want to create a new, we're going to make a new video project. We're going to give it a name, demo. Oops, oh, if only I could type demo. This project is empty. We have no media. There are no images in this project yet. So I'm going to add some images from this computer. Uh, they're on my F drive. And these are the images from last month's slideshow. So I'm going to add half a dozen of these or so. So they're now staged, ready to add to this slideshow. They're not actually in the slideshow, they're just waiting. Uh, I add them, I can add them a bunch of different ways. I'm going to add this one, and then I'm going to add this one. And you'll notice they're added, the corners tabbed over, and this one. Um, now, can I select them all? Oh, this, by the way, I guess is called the storyboard. Uh, I'm going to add this one and this little girl and this. And let's say that's my slideshow. Not much to it yet. We're going to add a title card at the beginning. Oops, didn't end up at the beginning. Watch how easy it is to rearrange things. Title card is here. I want it at the beginning. I grab it and drag it to the beginning. And now it's at the beginning. And I want to edit the title card. And I'm going to put some text in here. We're going to use this font. Oh, I don't like that. Let's stick with simple. And the text is title now. We're going to say demo slideshow. And that's good enough for now. So now we've got a slideshow with uh, a title slide, some images. Um, we can back this up to the beginning and we can play our slideshow. It'll appear up here in the upper right hand corner. Cheery lady in the yellow sh jacket. Autumn scene. There you go. Um, let's add another title card. Again, in the wrong place. I'll just scooch it over here to the end. And we'll change this to say simple again. Oops, the end. That's done. So now we've got a title card at the beginning, a title card at the end, some slides in our slideshow. We're done. That's really all there is to it. Now, this thing, this slideshow we've created only exists inside the Photos program. If we want to send this to somebody else or share it with somebody else or save a copy of it, we have to finish our video up here in the upper right-hand corner. Click on that. Click on Export. This is the regular Windows thing. Tell it where. We're going to put it on our desktop. It's going to be called Demo. Click on Export again. Wait around for a bit. Oh, that was quick. And here it is actually running for us. But I'm going to stop that and we're going to go look on our desktop and here is the slideshow we just created and it's 4.36 megabytes and it lasts only 24 seconds but if I double click on this it'll run. So this is a slideshow I can send to my friends. 
Uh, I can upload to YouTube. If you've got a Google account, by the way, don't forget that if you have a Google account, you have a YouTube account, so you can upload things to YouTube for free and share them with anybody anywhere in the world. But there's our simple little slideshow. Um, let me go back to photos for a sec and see what else we can talk about here. You can add background music. You can add your own, from their library of music, you can add your own music. You can rearrange these images. If I don't like the order they're in, the same way I move the title cards around, I can move the images around. Um, the numbers you see here are the duration of these slides. If I really like the lady in the coat, I can change her to be on screen for seven seconds. If I don't like her as much, I can change her to only be on screen for one second. Uh, what else can I show you? There are no transitions. Um, transitions the way you get from one image to the next image. Um, if you, these just do snap cuts, so it's a hard transition. There are no fades, no dissolves, no blends. That's one of the shortcomings of this program, but don't forget it's free. There are motion effects. This is this famous Ken Burns thing, so you can make an image zoom in from the left, from the right, amplify the, or sorry, zoom into the middle. Um, there are all kinds of terrible filters, which I suggest you don't use. Oh, you can add video to this. The same way we added these still images, we could add video. If I had any video, I could show you, but I don't have any video on this computer. Um, that's really it. There are lots and lots of other things you can do with this program. If you have any questions, please email contact at kscc.ca. Thank you.